Yeah, I suppose, look, we knew, we knew coming into it, it's always going to be a battle against the air, like, you know, it's kind of a local rivalry we've had down through the years, and I suppose we know each other quite well. And during the first half, we went in at half time, three points down, and we knew we had to push it on. We couldn't, we couldn't get that game going there, it's only the kind of five, five, six minutes, like to Jason, stood up Mark Carmody, and Tom O'Brien, a few scores, got us back into it. Look, thank God we got the win, Keen Fitz there, lovely scores, well finished, but great credit to Ted there, like, you know, on the battle they brought today, and so it's an honour to, I suppose, we play with each other, a lot of us play with each other, but Limerick can come out here, then we're batting side by side, so thank God we got over the line. Is it, uh, how, how much is it going to stand to you going into next week? So look, obviously we have to go back and take a good, big long look at ourselves. Like I suppose there's a lot of learnings in that for ourselves. We know next Saturday it's an appearance we're playing, so another massive battle ahead of us. And look, we know the players and the caliber of lads they have, and they have massive aspirations. But for us, it's just to focus on ourselves and hopefully we can get back together and drive on again. It was one of those games where you really had to dig deep, Keen. I'm sure. And going in at half time, we even saw at the second half you maybe took it by the scruff of the neck with the, the couple of points from play we saw obviously Aaron hitting a few frees was there a lot of maybe soul searching at half time? Yeah I suppose you always kind of I suppose question yourself really if things aren't going your way or trying to wonder why and what can you do to push things on but look there credit through to the 15 lads that start and the lads that come on that's the way, the way it's gone it's a panel game now like with the club and just pushing each other and as I said things were going against us we were down a few points but lads stood up lads put their hands up and Thank God we got over the line, but this time of year hurling is a battle, and that's what it comes down to. Long enough we were you were playing matches kind of behind closed doors and with no one in here, obviously the club championship yeah. last year. Uh, the, the, some of the loudest roars of the night in fairness were from Adair fans, but uh, <laughs> it's, it must really add to the atmosphere. I know you've done it at inter county level, but to be back here at the Gaelic Grounds and to hear the roar from no, the Michael stand again. It's unbelievable, I suppose. Nothing beats your local village and your local community, and I suppose that goes for Adair and ourselves and obviously South Liberty and Camelot to have your own because your own community here supporting and roaring you on even if things are going against you it's just it's special to have your family and wider community there is huge and look thank God we got over the line but it gives the supporters another day out doesn't that so please God we can drive on next week again King you obviously will need to go up a few gears to, to dethrone the Pearson consistency and inconsistent I suppose there's probably been a, a word to describe your couple of games so far yeah I suppose look, against Doon we didn't get over the line we a nice little win over a hand and today is another another game where we've I suppose a lot to work on, you know, and that's that's the beauty of sport and the beauty of hurling. Like after every game if you've stuff to work on it's brilliant because no one has has perfected the game of hurling and ourselves we know we've a lot to do and a lot to drive on and you know in a piercing as I said, massive team, massive aspirations and all we can do is focus on ourselves and keep the heads down. Just a quick word, I think uh, John Kiley was probably here watching today. <laughs> N- nice to see John and, and the group uh, we confirmed during the week, yeah, I'm sure. So I suppose it's unreal, like, and obviously an honour for them to be back again. But for us now, this time of year, it's focusing on our, our club and doing what we can do for the, the local clubs. So. Oh, just a, sorry, just a few words for Jason as well. Like, he did, like, he took that three and he put that wide, that, that didn't deter him. There, no, it's start, like, Jason's unbelievable. Obviously, he's inside Limerick mm-hmm. in goals, but he can do stuff like that there the last five minutes. Did he get three points in a row? Four. Four in a row. That's. I kind of said to Matt, he goes, all you have to do is throw the ball up and hit it and it'll go over. But he's brilliant, he's great, great attitude. And that goes for everyone. You know, as I said, the lads that come on, Keane Fitz, Patrick Kirby, youngsters. Like, and that's, I suppose that's what you need. You want young fellas pushing things on and pushing the likes of us on again because it's a cycle. And you have to keep that cycle going. So it looks great credit due to the lads, but as I said, it's not like getting carried away. We have a lot to work on. Like. Uh, you talk about young fellas there, Keane. Brian Murray made that save on, <laughs> Brian, on Mark he's Connolly, a young fella. <laughs> And it would have been six points. How big was that for you in the grand scheme of things? Asher Brian is unreal. Like, you know, he does he does stuff like that and you you're questioning yourself, you're saying, How is that man able to do that? But he's unreal, do you know what? I suppose it's no shock really to see him making saves like that. And even his puck outs are brilliant, it makes life a lot easier for us standing under a ball when you're getting it from Brian. So look, unreal. Great save and it kinda of kept us in it too because that goal could have changed everything, but as I said, all we can do is focus on next week. Oh.